Boyaka Boyaka! 01752! It's your boy, DBJ. So, I am back on the staircase because I am back with another YouTube reaction video or a game. It's, it's gonna be a reaction video. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Dead or Alive games because my viewership was down. Hey, as you may know that I've been doing a lot of alternative commentaries as of late uh, with the text and speech thing and it's been getting a lot of great reviews and I'm very happy and I'm very glad that everybody's enjoying it but I thought I'd just slow things down a little bit kid and do a reaction video to a rumble that I did um, last year it was for House of Heroes a new Robin Wrestling slash DWA and it was um, a rumble to determine the, to give it its full title, the new Robin Wrestling DWA House of Heroes Trophy. I need a cough. <coughs> yeah, and this was um, around October um, 9th, I think. I can't remember when. And I think previous to this day, I had a match, it was a triple threat match for my DWA Academy Trophy against the Malicious Mercenary and the Python. Now, I'm not going to get into any specifics about that match. It was, um, this was in the evening show and it was a rumble, so let's go and React to it, shall we? And by the way, do you like my new Owen Hart fest? It's really cool, isn't it? Uh, good old Owen. Get on, Owen. As you can see, uh, Big Andy Tyson, the guy with the singlet, the red singlet, has got a hole in his singlet. This video has got off to a great start. And here I come. I look fucking awful. Those white boots, I fucking hate those white boots. Um, I bought them off Tyler Hawk, um, and I couldn't really adjust to wearing them, so I sold them back to him. Uh, I now wear kick pads, which is much more easier. I can move more easier. I can do kicking as well. I don't, I rarely do it. I mean, I kicked Cameron on unit 10. It was really good, but yeah, my kicks are deadly, so. Maybe I'll kick someone again soon. Who knows? You gotta stay tuned to Unit 10. So, there we go. Oh, there's Big Andy. Big Andy Tyson. The Wrecking Ball. Uh, he was one of our trainees in DWA. Always gave it his best effort. Uh, fair play to the guy. And uh, they, you can see in the corner there, Brother Jonathan ganging up on Joe Costa. He's been getting a big push in Unit 10 as of late, and um, me and Mr. Wilson beat him and Dom. And uh, Executioner there, he's beating on me in the corner. Now, that year, 2019, I had a feud with the Executioner. Um, first match in Launston, I won by disqualification. Get on. Second match, it was me and Max Wilson against him in a triple threat which didn't go too good I slipped on a drop kick <laughs> so we, we went for a double drop kick and I fucking slipped on the canvas and I got back up and got I meant to do that I meant to do that thank fuck no one was there like it, it was about nine people there and I don't think they noticed or cared so that, that was fine I mean, if it was like a holiday camp show, it, it probably would have, people would have laughed. But no one cared. Which is good. And I think this was the last match of my trilogy with the Executioner. Fucking hell, he just did a flip bump on a clothesline there. Like uh, Andy Tyson's uh, red Adidas wrestling trainers there. That's good. Is Joe Costa gone? I think Joe Costa must have gone. So, Joe Costa got eliminated from this match. And if you can see, I think somewhere around there, 
he goes straight back to the music booth because they had no one to do the music. So he's at the rumble, gets thrown out. Oh, I love that. He just he just comes in. It's like, yep, hello, it's me, Finn Arlo, and then he gets speared straight away. Love it. Okay, right, that's another spear. Uh, yeah, so Joe Costa did the music, gets thrown out, goes back to doing the music, <laughs> straight away, in his gear. Classic new Robin. Right, what's going on now? I've not been paying attention to this match at all. Just been given a lot of anecdotes and tidbits. And facts. Oh, the execution in there. Continuing on our feud. Um, he used to do this thing uh, called the Anusha. And he would get you in the corner. He used to do that in Anusha. And I took that off him. Um, as a, as an, you know, a tribute to the execution in our feud of 2019. They say that you're always learning. And yeah, I learned how to do the Adusha. And it's proved effective because A, did it on Joey Seven. He was on his hands and knees. And I did it to Dom on this episode of Unit 10 on the floor. The Adusha works. Andy Tyson's been eliminated. Oh no. Not Andy Tyson. Oh, what's happening there? Oh, big splash by Palmer, the unnecessary evil. Um, his missus actually is doing the photography in ringside. A little bit of a info there. I probably shouldn't have said that. It's their private life. Oh, Drake Winter kicking the witch in the balls. Ouch. The witch is always uh, very complimentary towards my work, by the way. That, that was... That was good of him to do that. Oh! Fucking toe on him. Uh, me and Sander Gray there, showing that we were the Tigers Den Dojo and trying to team up to eliminate um, the Executioner. It's Troy Jones. Big Troy. I've actually felt one of his super kicks. Oh! He's got yellow tape. Flynn has got yellow tape, and I've got yellow tape. A uh, reason for me having yellow tape, by the way, was because I had ran out of wrist tape, so I had some yellow tape in my bag, and I just used that. I don't think anyone noticed or cared. Oh no, he missed. I just want to uh, express my hatred towards these corner lights. <laughs> like... Oh, it, it was horrible to wrestle and like, because it would just beam down on you and you'd be sweating. It was awful. I, God knows how Free Show must have been feeling right now. I mean, he's in, his, he's in a t-shirt, he's in trousers. He's got something underneath this t-shirt. Like, he must have been sweating. I was sweating refereeing. So imagine what it'd be like just bumping around and... Crikey. Oh, someone's coughing. I'm in the corner, just battering Sander Gray there. Oh, who's the, who's the last entrant? Yep, there you, there you go, there you see Joe Costa in the music booth. Oh, they've got music. This is why Joe was eliminated. They needed this guy to have a... It's John Harding! They lifted this music off his uh, music video on his YouTube channel. I, I will link his YouTube channel into the description below. Because he did um, pick me up on Facebook, I believe. And we've had some good matches. Um, actually, more my matches, but really good matches. Uh, which I've enjoyed and learned from. So, it's good. Big up, John Harding. There we go. He's, a, he's like a... Fiery young baby face, house on fire against Freak Show. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Brain Buster. Oh, the executioner ruins it. That dastardly man. 
Oh. Oh. Palmer, the unnecessary evil is gone. I see a lot of his uh, social media posts, and he's um does a lot of training with Marty Jones. Um, I've done a seminar on that with Marty Jones, and um. I did learn a few things from the Mighty Jones seminar. And I remember Charles Gilbert, Wade Gilbert, started with DWA. And me and Tyler Hawk were like just teaching them the basics. And then I think Tyler went somewhere, I can't remember where. So it was me, just me teaching Charles and another guy, I can't remember his name, the basics. And I'm like, okay, they're, they're probably getting bored. So I'm like teaching them like, Marty Jones starts with fossils on their very first day. Now, Wade stuck with it, um, and I'm glad. He's a great guy, even though he's been screwing me a lot on Unit 10 as of late, which is not on. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that he stuck with it. Um, he went to Reach, I think, a week later, and he stayed there. Um, but, you know, I'm glad he did go to Reach because they've been giving him an opportunity. Like, he's had a lot of exposure. Like, people know who Wade Gilbert is because they post about him on social media constantly. Uh, the Uncommon Man. And... Oh, the Executioner's happy! He's clapping! He's really, really pleased! Oh, no! <laughs> I love how he was clapping! <laughs> his, his deadly executioner for Bob and Joe and his <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's not even that funny. He's just he's going <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh he's got a lot of my poo shoe. He's grabbed off my far now. I sat back in there. Uh reason was because not because I did it on purpose, it was because I was fat. Very fat, and I looked really disgusting there. This is a time where I, I was stopped. My passion was like dying at the time. I just really wasn't into it. Oh! Another betrayal! Oh, Sander Gray. We did this because we wanted to set up for OCW later on that month. Um, it was like the first match for the round the clock trophy. We wanted to build up to that. Uh, the reason why it was like a mystery, and, I, and there, was only, there was only like 12 people there, I think, so. But I, I'll tell the story anyway. So, reason why like, they kept it a mystery, like the first two opponents, was because I didn't have a profile, I didn't have a promo pick. That was it. I didn't have a promo pick, so we didn't build up. So it was like two mystery guys. And I came out, and no one knew who the fuck I was. Except for Blake Harrison, who was there, Josh Knott, LA Taylor. Like, they were in attendance. The rest had no fucking idea who I was. And I remember Derek Gibbon and this kid were there. And they were the only people giving me shit. And everyone else was just quiet. I... Oh, that match. Oh, Freak Show wins! That is a long name for a trophy. And I thought the DWA Joel Remen Academy trophy was a long name. But the House of Heroes, DWA, House of Hero... No. New Robin Wrestling, DWA, House of Heroes Trophy. Nah, that, that's, that's a long ass name. Yeah, crowd ain't happy. Mr. Brown is definitely not happy. Oh, Mr. Brown's checking on us. What a good guy. I miss him. I hope to see him in 2021. I hope he'd be like, Gone boy! Or, You bigot! Hammer him! Oh, I, I can still hear myself yelling at Sander Gray. There we go. Freak Show, the winner. I'm, I'm trying to read what his t shirt says. Oh, the punters love it. 
and he's going out through the other entrance and it's just it's staff only he's not a member of staff so yeah that was um the new robin wrestling house of heroes battle royal i must bid you farewell Awooga!